is me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Sinea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all-new video. That's right. We are back. As you can see, the sound machine that Tanea hates for me to use, she uses before the camera starts rolling. Exactly, because I feel like it's effing rude. Okay, let's get into the show. Um, I feel like I have a lot to talk about, but I really don't, so I'm just going to go quick. I'm not going to stay on anything long. First thing, starting off, we had, um, well, I had, I try not to speak for both of us. I had a, a pretty good weekend. I've been off of work for so long because of the snowstorms here that my weekend was from Wednesday into right. Sunday. So, it was lovely to me. Although, I am tired of the snow, but from the grace of God, you could just tell God moving through Baltimore. Hallelujah. It was like... 50 degrees yes. today, the sun was shining, the snow was melting, hallelujah. Yeah, seriously, because the snow here is just a too much. I, I can't even. Um, also want to give a shout out to, I won't, I won't say that because every time I say that it just starts a debate in these comments, I've said it before. What? I was about to say the greatest rapper to ever live, but um. Rest the greatest, to, and he's the greatest rapper to you. Rest in peace to Biggie Smalls, the lyrical genius. I can't believe that it's been 18 years. Yo, that just makes me feel old as crap. Like, 18 years? 18? Like, I still remember the day that he died. Right. Crazy. I can't. Um, Just to let y'all know, this is my grandparents' um, anniversary. Shout out so to my grandparents. I always Barbie. remember that my grandparents got married on the day that Biggie died. Mm, what a way to remember. Right. Um, I want to give a shout out to one of our faithful, faithful, faithful viewers and tweeters. You know, I usually, I, I just said, this is how, I, this is to show you that she's hard headed. I just said in the last video that we would start doing the shout outs by um, Zodiac sign. So I just said shout out to all the Pisces and I was like next we're going to do shout out to all the Aries. No. She DM'd us today. Did you get your DM? I'm getting nothing. She DM'd us I'm today to, to let us know it was her birthday and that she was <laughs> So. Who did this? I can't wait. Come on so we can sing. I don't know. I don't have no DM. Okay. Well, what are we going to sing? Well how do I know I'm singing to you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Kim. Kim, I ain't getting no DM. Happy birthday to you. Woo I pray that you have caviar wishes and Olich dreams. Oh, that is nice. Go, girl. Here you go. She sent it in the group text. I didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was, she was, she said she was like her. some words of encouragement. <coughs> so all I can say is, Kim, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Get turned up all week. You know what I'm saying? Keep Take some first. shots. Put the kids to bed early. Get tipsy. Do your thing, cause your birthday only comes once a year. You done? Yeah, once a year. Y'all saw that? She gave you the once a year. Okay, so um, on my shoulders today. I have a surprise for you guys. Oh my God, what? We're doing a surprise contest. Oh my God, can I participate? No. Okay, so actually you can. You can participate. Really? Yes. Oh my God, I'm about to blow y'all asses out the water. Okay. <laughs> So, this contest starts whenever you see this video. Whenever you see this video, you are to start. Right. This ends Friday at 5 p.m. Ah, the whole contest. week. The whole week. The whole work week, All shall I say. All day. So, as I told you guys on the last show, we started a Facebook page for the show. Mm -hmm. The show. Remember, I told y'all to spell it everything. T H A S H O W. Why well, I was about to say N. The show. Yeah, the show. No <laughs> E with an A at the end of the. We shouldn't have put an E at the end of the show to be fancy. Shh, true. True. So, 
whoever can get the most family, friends, strangers, you tell your kids that they want to have a Facebook, and Instagram buddies, it. Twitter buddies, however many people you can get to like the page, like our Facebook page, like our Facebook How page. How simple is that? That's it. That's they it. will win. All right, I'm not going to participate because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill y'all. So they will win a prize. I will ship the prize off on Monday morning, and you will have it next week. Monday morning. You don't want to miss this um gift, so. It's nice. I encourage you all to participate. I feel like it's a long time limit. Nobody can cheat. Simple. Y'all benefit from this. We benefit from this. And this just gives me, a, I, this just lets me know depending on how many people participate in this contest, what I need to do for our big contest that's coming up in a few weeks. So, and y'all don't, I'm just saying, saying, if you don't want to miss this, you definitely don't want to miss that other contest. I'm just saying. Let me tell you. So, here's what you do. To, I have three different options, I believe, for you to let me know that you are the person to send this person to like the page. You can get the person to comment on the page and let me know who sent them. Yeah, oh yeah, like they can just type your name under right. it. Right. Oh yeah, or they can just type your name so I can just know that it was you that sent them. Mm -hmm. You can screenshot it if you want to. If you want to get fancy and send it to me. You can be like, my friend did this. Bam. Or, it was another way I said. I forgot what was the other way. Whatever. As long as you can get me the proof that you are the person that sent that person to like the page. I mean, I'm just saying. I know people that's going. I'm expecting. I'm expecting y'all at least to try for 10 or more. That's what I'm expecting. But I'll take whatever you can get and whoever can get the most. You never know. Somebody might get 10. Somebody might get 20. Somebody might get 30. Y'all don't want to miss this prize. That's all I'm going to say. So the contest starts. If you're watching this right now, the contest has started. You're, you're, I already told y'all started. But hold on, watch the video though and like it and, and put a comment. Did you show? I almost did. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so moving on. Everybody got the rules of the contest. I'm not saying them again. You're going to have to rewind it. So, first thing I want to talk about is Paley Live event. If you don't know what that is. If you don't know what that is, yeah, because I think our phone needs to be taken until Tanea time. If you don't know what that is, it's an event where basically TV shows come and they do a live question and answer at like a big theater in Los Angeles. It's always in Los Angeles. Kill me because I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. Right. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? I told Tanae last week. I was like, Tanae, we should just look up tickets for LA and just go. It wasn't any reasonable tickets. That's the only reason why we didn't go. Okay. That is the honest truth. So, of course, the show that I watched last night was The Scandal. And there's lots of shows that go. But the panel that I watched was The Scandal one. And um, everybody, for the most part, most of the stars were there. Joe wasn't there. But sometimes I forget he isn't a star. Somebody was just um, calling himself Fuss and Shonda Rhimes out the other day on Twitter, like, um, Papa Pope haven't even been on in a minute. She was like, "Well, he's a he, he's a he's guest star. Like, he's, he's a, a guest guest star. He's a reoccurring guest, guest star, star, but a guest star nonetheless, like Jake should be. But right? That's that's enough story. But um, anyway, it was really good. Harry Washington had laryngitis. That was very sad. Her voice was very. Like and it was like her. I was watching it again today, and her, I think her stomach was hurting. Like she just kept doing like this, like. But she had went to an event earlier in the day, and that just goes to show you how dedicated she is because she could have easily been like, I'm not going to be able to make it. Maybe she ate something. Not unless she had a contract. I don't know. But um, it came on late last night. That's why a lot of y'all may not have saw if y'all watching from the West Coast. It came on 1045, but it started at 745 there. So I stayed up and watched it. It went off at about 12 o'clock. It was pretty good. Jimmy Kimmel read. Um, he was the, the the moderator. He um, read some stuff that people had wrote on Twitter. Some questions that people wrote on Twitter. He discussed fanfics, which a lot of celebrities don't know about fanfics. And they obviously didn't. I'm it. glad he let them know because these same people they were really like, dedicated. What the fuck is a fanfic? And um, yeah. then they took live questions from the audience. It was really good. A lot of nice pictures were taken. A lot of funny jokes. But there was one in particular where a guy stood up. Embarrassing. I mean, it was so embarrassing. 
embarrassing to me that instantly I turned the volume down. I was like, oh my god, I can't watch it, I can't watch it, I can't watch it. As soon as I heard him, you know, trying to crack some. So first of all, he got up and he took the mic. And I don't know what he thought he heard Jimmy Kimmel saying, but he was just like, uh-uh, don't come for me unless I come for you. Oh, because he had on like a kilt or like a skirt, like a man's skirt. And he was Who just like, was this it's man? called fashion. Like talking to Jimmy Kimmel, so I was just like, okay. You know how, no shade to the gays, some gay men just have to do the most. most. They do the most, and that's why, no. So he was already talking like a good three minutes before he even asked the question. So he asked the question and he's like, um, I was wondering how you guys deal with a real life scandal. And then he basically brought up um, Columbus Short and I can't remember exactly what he said, but everybody in the audience started to laugh. So, Jimmy Kimmel was just like, you know, basically like, like, why would you ask this question? Of course, nobody's going to answer this, blah, blah, blah. So, Curry Washington, with her sick voice. Right. With her sick voice, basically was just like, you know, I I feel like we need to clear this up because it's a lot of people in here laughing at the remark that he just made. But, just said, but I don't think it's either. funny at all, and it's not a laughing matter. And I'm not celebrating in your laughing. Right, and I'm not celebrating oh, in your laughter. And she was like... He was paying attention. Unfortunately. And um, she was like, you know, once you become a part of the Scandal family, you're always a part of the Scandal family. So it's not a joking matter. It's not funny. And no, so you can understand why we're not going to answer this question. Oh, and he, when he got up, he was like, um, I think he was like, y'all need to thank me because I get all my clients to watch Scandal. I've got y'all so many fans. So he was like, oh, thank you. So when she closed it out, she said, but thank you for getting people to watch Scandal. The thing is, as Curry many, was waiting on you at the dome. As many people as it was in that whole like little whatever room, conference room, whatever you want to call it, as many people wanted to, you know, get a question at right. like you got to get up and ask a question. You decided to ask a question about somebody who is no longer on the show. To be shady. Like, you're an idiot. And then, then, four questions down the line, another lady brings up Columbus Short. Are y'all retarded? Maybe they came, they came from the same dumbass family. Like, I don't understand. But other than that, it was really good. But which, it was crazy because a lot of people don't know about the Paley Fest. Today, Kerry Washington confronts a fan about Columbus Short. Kerry Washington, I mean, oh every God. blog. Thanks a lot. Everywhere. But, right, um, you, it wasn't even like it was more news on her confronting the person than it was on oh well what is the Paley Fest because I never heard of it. It's like the person to get up there, you got up there looking a damn fool with a kilt on, then to ask a ridiculous question. It's almost like you put on a costume. It's just you. It's like you did this to get noticed. And you, and you got we've been looking for your Twitter name all day seconds of bad fame exactly like oh my god but shout out to the cast because last week as you know most people know was absolutely amazing it was basically almost based on you're, you're being annoying today but how many times do you want to refill it why do you be but um go ahead no just, just, go just go don't make this a habit no just go ahead but, um, damn it, you made me lose my thought. Oh, because it was, like, based on the Trayvon Martin, uh, Mike Brown incident. And it was really, really good. And like I said on the Scandal review, and I wanted to say on here because I know some people watch and don't watch Scandal. If you don't watch Scandal, that was an episode that you just really, I feel like everybody should see. I feel like you would enjoy it. Because most people are just like, I don't want to watch no black lady being a mistress or some white man. And, like, that's all they think Scandal is about, people who don't. The few people that don't watch Scandal, so this was a good one for you to watch. But um, just a couple of updates on Scandal. Um, in the next couple of episodes, we're gonna talk. We're gonna see um Cyrus's wife and why he left the wife. What? Melly's sister pops up because Melly's like com I don't know what happens, but Melly's supposed to go into like another deep depression, and her sister reappears. Me appears, but. It's like, okay, season four, Melly has a sister. Who knew? I thought she was only child. Hold on, so I wonder if Melly's sister know about Liv and Fitz. Who knows? Right. Um, Sally Langston 
is supposed to be coming back and Huck's family is supposed to come back also. So a lot to look forward to. When Shonda tweeted last week, I don't know why y'all tweeting me saying, is this the season finale, child? We got episodes on episodes to go. Go Play girl. Me. I'm ready. Also this week it was Salma's 50th anniversary. And um, for the march that, you know, Martin Luther King did when he walked across the bridge. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know if it's the movie, but like Salma is just everywhere. Because right Salma now. is now. Nay, Nay, if you see the remote, can you turn the TV down some? Sorry. Salma is now. Um, but yeah, so it was the 50th anniversary, which uh, Obama and his family and other leaders went down and they walked the bridge holding hands just like Martin Luther King did, Joe Biden too in front, you know. And um, then Obama gave a really, really, really good speech and he basically just said what today said. We've done a lot of work but Salma is still now. Right. Don't get it twisted. Dang! Nene and Salma the same age. Oh. <laughs> Why you put her kisses out there, y'all? movie and they had the date I all like every time they put my mother's year the day that she was born I want to be like I always wonder like what was Nene doing there and I was like oh she wasn't born yet but y'all gonna be born I mean well y'all pretty much the same age shout out to Salma shout out to Nene um this is the one year anniversary of the missing plane can you believe it it's been an entire year uh yeah remember they gave everybody five thousand dollars Oh, over in Asia. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry. It was, it's been so many planes. I, you know, I forget the logistics. I, when I read that, I was like, that's sad. Oh, my God. That's so sad. That is sad. Um, the Suge Knight video. You know, we talked about Woo! Suge Knight running over the people and he got locked up and it wasn't sure if he really ran them over and what exactly happened. Okay. He ran that in. Footage thing. got out today. And all I'm going to say is, if y'all haven't saw it, just put in Suge Knight on anywhere and it'll pop right can, up. Can I? Okay, go ahead. I want you to say. And, you know, I watched it. It was only 30 seconds. And it was like. Right. It was so gruesome that it was almost as if they were dolls. Right. Like, when they he ran over life. them, right? Like. He he's an animal. He needs to go to jail for life. Hold on, but that's what I'm saying. They might be using this video to get him out of jail, like to make it so he don't, he won't be, you know, sentenced for whatever it was. Okay, because they said in the video the first man that he mm -hmm. um, ran over, they're trying to say it was for, um, what is it called when somebody fights you so you fight back? Self defense. Self defense. They said that the man, uh, at one point in the video, you can't see him anymore. He steps out of it. So, basically, they're saying that the man was at the side of Suge Knight's um, window. And he was pulling out a gun to shoot him. And that's when he ran over him in self-defense. But I don't understand, even if they try to use that as self-defense, why didn't his ass drive off? Just drive away. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't understand how they're gonna justify that. Y'all go watch it for yourselves because it, it, it's nothing that you can say to me that. And now, even if he don't get, he, okay, let's say he do get self defense with the first one. That second man, did they both die? No, no, one died and one is in critical condition. So they better hope that one in critical condition don't like come back and say the whole damn story because he's gonna be under the. Now you getting the door? Yes. Um, I wanted to just say real quick, if you are one of these people who is out here making these GoFundMe accounts, everybody should know what the GoFundMe account is. You can start an account and basically put it on your social network asking people to donate money to you. It's a friend of mine that's on my um, timeline and she's uh, trying to get money for... Oh. It's a friend of mine and she's on there trying to get money for her to go to nursing school. Um, I saw somebody doing it for their kids' birthday parties. I've seen people, uh, somebody, you, you know, it was a big story about somebody that got uh, money raised to go to Las Vegas. It was another one, too. But it's getting ridiculous. Like, even my little sister, that in Myrtle Beach. Like, y'all just taking it too far now. And I can see, like, I want the right to go find me. Now, I can almost. Um, 
almost see the girl who was trying to get help for college. That's not something that I would do. But that's but a good idea. That's a good idea. These people who are trying to get money for their kids, birthday right parties, are you? Can drink a cup of bleach and die. Like, are you? Who do you think you are? Crazy? Are you really? You better use them damn food stamps and bake a cake and put some damn decorations up are in the living room. Really? This is my this is my thing. You have the gall. Like, where have you no fucking shame? All right. I can. That's my one. Okay. How can you get on a social media and ask strangers to fund your baby's birthday party? How wretched and disgusting. Like, are you serious? Y'all That was your mistake, not ours. Why do we have to pay for it to have a party? And it's so crazy because we had a, a production meeting last night with our producer and we were talking about ideas, you know, the, for us to raise money to get certain things we need for the show and, you know, get certain things started. And GoFundMe you know, is not the right. GoFundMe is the last thing that I would possibly do. Like, that's just not me. Like, if you want to get something done to, I mean, sometimes it's okay to ask for help, but you got to get that shit done on your you own. You have to ask family, people who care A about damn you. damn GoFundMe. Okay, it's not even the people, okay, because your dumb ass ass. Y'all fucking retards pay. Oh, excuse me. Y'all retards paying for people's children to have parties and paying for people to go slut around Las Vegas during fight time and you're home. Y'all won't even donate to feed the children. Y'all turn the damn TV when the commercial. Y'all niggas on. don't pay I, time. You using the words. You done. I can't. You done. I'm about to walk off the show. No, you done. Because done. I can't take. We're yeah. moving on. Shout out to the people who are doing it for a good cause. But the rest of y'all, the rest of y'all, y'all, y'all losing y'all blessings doing stuff like that because, especially when it's people that's really donating money for y'all to have a bash for y'all kids' birthday party. Who's donating? Like, why are you donating this money, dummy? Moving on. Um, if y'all didn't know, the popular movie that all black people love, and I'm sure some white, Asian, and Hispanics do too. ATL, the skating movie with T.I. and them. They're in the works of making a new one, ATL 2, the sequel. Is it coming straight to MTV? No, it's going to the movie theaters. Oh, wow. I don't know why you keep trying to downplay the movie like everybody in the world don't like that movie. I, I didn't know. Cause can I tell you something? I didn't see ATL until it played on TV. She's a loser. Oh. Um, I mean, it was. I liked it. I didn't know though. I didn't know it was like a big, big movie like that. So everybody get excited. Uh, also, Rihanna has been giving out little snippets of her new album. I can't. She wait. actually gave out two snippets of a song called Higher this weekend, and I really, really like it. And let me tell y'all something. I was about to say. Navy. Yeah. I see y'all girl getting them vocal lessons. Now this is your time. Yeah. This is your time to be like. and tell me when she's gonna drop the damn album. Yo. I don't want no more snippets. I don't want to hear nothing else about the damn cartoon coming out. I don't want to hear nothing else about I the song. See that I want to see it, but I don't. I don't want the album. <laughs> but I will be going to see uh, the movie. Yo, the thing about it is, Rihanna is going to kill this. Like the video. <laughs> Y'all haven't heard it. Look it up on oh, her Alice, she got to sing live because if. Rihanna don't got nothing. She got them facial, like that that face when you sing it. She got them movements down that ear, that handshake. She got it. It's gonna be nice. I right, like I wish y'all could see me looking at her right now. I'm, I'm giving Rihanna her props. <laughs> um, real quick, I don't even know why we have to discuss this, but so many people ask me this. Did I see it? Of course I saw it. Kim K went blonde, damn it. Oh. Who cares? I, I <laughs> hate that effing hair. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, why did she just get the hair like three, four days ago and she already showing how she had to get it re dyed? Because and if shit? you didn't see a couple, like the day before she showed it getting re dyed, you could already see her roots coming in. Lord. That's why she don't need to be blonde. First of all, can I just say something? This blonde is too bright it's too it's it makes her 
face look hard and it shows all her imperfections like her lip and I just can't take it and you know what I was thinking about what you said I think her eyebrows are doing something and the too. eyebrows are too dark she got black dark Armenian thick eyebrows with this white storm hair like Somebody was talking about it today, and they was like, Kim K is nothing but a Barbie doll that Kanye likes to play with and dress up every day. And I mean, I'm just what saying. that movie that came out with Tyra Banks when she was a life-size Barbie? Life-size. Um, that is what Kim K is right now for him. Um, but, but all the best. Uh, in better news, um, Northwest had a cute video come out the day where Yo. her dingy ass mother is walking towards the plane with the and body she dog. Let's go to her but hand. wait a minute, she she didn't have her hand. When I they thought was, they had hands. Uh oh, when they was walking down, she didn't have her hand. Oh, okay. And then North just she stopped. She don't stop and like <laughs> get away to the paparazzi. Somebody was like she was posing. Somebody was like she was saying a prayer for all the paparazzi. She was getting. But it why was she so serious? Like she just stopped and was like. Are you done now? Are you is, and that's what she's doing. Are you done? Is that what you want? That's the cutest video. I wish we got a blue eye. That's what she like said. This. That's what, is this what she want? Are you done? And then Kim K come running her dense ass back. Oh, together. cause you're not behind me. No, she's an effing baby. All them flesh and lights. I don't know what would have happened if the security guard wasn't there. Cause the security guard probably nudged her like um the baby. No, he probably called her because you remember he never left. Yeah, he, he said right there. He the sat. baby was right he there. He was like, oh, Kim wait, let me wait for you to take your pictures back. Kimberly. Does North have a middle name? No, it's she just Northwest. She didn't want to give her a middle name, remember? I didn't know if that ever went through. It's just Northwest. All the best to the Wests. If he did have a middle name, I couldn't imagine it being anything to go with that name. Except for Marie. Mar I feel like Marie goes with any, any name. Tanea Marie? Tanea Marie. Tiffany Marie. Lene Marie. It goes with everybody. Simone Marie. Ashley Marie, Monica Marie. I don't like to name Marie. I'm just saying it could go. It just don't. Girl. It's like hood and class mixed together. First of all, my name is not hood. I am named after a Muslim princess. Today we found out that they uh the frater the frat is it fraternity? Oh yeah, it's a fraternity. Yeah. The they they were canceled, shut down, whatever. Suspended, you're out of here. So basically they were they have a video out of the fraternity on the bus chanting, there will never be a nigga in S A E. You didn't That's hear it? I did, but I couldn't understand I, I heard it. nigger. I didn't hear the rest. If you they'll never um I will because I, I was listening to it earlier. Something it'll never be a Something SAE. No, there'll never be a nigga SAE. Yeah. And then they have another video that came out today and they're singing, You can hang from a tree, but they'll never sign with me. And um, the president of the school wants them gone. And um, Right. He, he wants them, the, but the public, the, the, the president wants them to just leave the school. The public wants them to be expelled from the school. Like, the, the president was just like, you know, I hope that they leave. Like, I don't want them here anymore when he could easily expel them. And the oh, public yeah. doesn't understand. But like a lot of people were saying today, like, I really, I'm not too sure why everybody's so surprised. Me either. Like, I don't know whether they think racism doesn't exist anymore. Oh, Selma is now. I keep on telling y'all. Like, they don't so know us. I was reading the comments under the article of people just giving their opinions 
and there was a white guy on there and he was just like I don't understand he's like if you look up the word nigga they must not know what it means because it doesn't mean a black person and he was like um he was like and what kills me is black people can sling around the word as much as they want to but when a Caucasian person does it they're racist so sir, sir, the sir. thing about it is why would your white ass want to say nigga sir. Like, why would you want to say if it's such a bad thing why would you want to say it the thing is black people shouldn't say it either and I know that I should probably not say that because I say it so much but it's in my vocabulary and that's not an excuse but the thing is you shouldn't say it and I don't care I don't care if it sounds racist you should not say it Tanea has spoken it's demeaning and disrespectful so you definitely you definitely shouldn't say it to me I feel sorry for the people that go to the college because it was like a rally and I saw it was like mainly black people but I mean people who really think that racism is over and racist people don't exist and I'm Bro, telling y'all when I worked at a convenience store I worked with nothing but white people and they all lived there it's a certain town here called Dundalk and a lot of white people live there they're known for living there like that's their spot and um and she was just telling me she was like you know my dad raised us to know that we are better than black people and he was like my dad is racist she was like but that's not something I go around saying and she was like I'm not racist but in some households the parents really do raise them to believe that not that they're just better than black people that they're better than everybody but the, definitely black people the thing about it is because I went to school with predominantly white people and I don't want to say like cause I really I don't want to say like I really didn't like I've never got any race thing towards me in school and I don't know if that's because like we were the same we were you know we've been we were in class from pre-kindergarten to eighth grade so it's almost like a family but the thing is like I never helped had to deal with that but I never thought that racism was dead you know yeah, what I'm saying right. like I, I know it's racist people I don't think every white person is no racist, definitely not. but you know but yeah the thing about it is white people the, the, that's the thing about it, like with the man um y'all don't know what the you know nigger means because it does but you don't call yourself that true people white people who are cool with saying the word nigger you never really call themselves you never hear them say oh these men, you never hear them me say. Me and my niggas. You never hear them say they are a nigga. They're not one. My, I'm just chilling with my niggas. I don't say I'm a nigga. I call y'all niggas because y'all ignorant. All right, moving on because Tanae is a, oh, and great. It's time for her to talk some more. It's Tanae time. Hi. Okay, but this not going to be long because y'all already know what I feel about the situation is um, having to do with Karuchi, Chris Brown, and the baby. Um, so last week it came out that Chris Brown had a nine month old baby, and within that same allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. it came out that he allegedly has a nine month old baby. Um, and Karuchi chucked the deuce to that because she said, I can deal with you cheating on me. I can deal with you lying on me. I can deal with you telling everybody in the world that I had sex with Drake. Like, I can deal with all that, but I can't deal with the fact that it's a baby in the picture. Oh, Karuchi. I mean, you know, that might that might be her, her breaking point. Like, everybody has their own something that they can't handle. And the baby, because if you think about it, I have been with you through the lying, through the cheating, through all this. And she gets to have the baby? What the F? I'm, I'm gone. So either way, we have yet to hear Chris Brown say anything about this baby. Which I, that's what I'm waiting on. But I feel like I'm going to be waiting forever because it's just like he is putting up pictures of shoes. He's putting up pictures of art. Say something about this goddamn baby. Okay. Like, Oh, let's see. I need to know if the baby says now. I, is this the um? We can't you see that. You was. <laughs> I did see this. I did see this already. Where he put out like a um, a picture of like when he's going through a tough time. Remember that God is there. I I saw this and he gave us this whole essay. 
But he still, in none of this essay, he didn't say I am or not the damn daddy. And that's my thing. Like, I, I just need to know. And I feel like as fans, we should know. But as one of our friends had mentioned last week, and I also do agree with her, I feel like I'm waiting for him to say something because I'm used to him saying something. But I don't think that he has to say anything. Is it a private matter? Yes! Why isn't it a private matter? <laughs> When something they want to be private, oh, get out my life. Don't you need to worry about what's going on in your own life? But blah, 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 blah. everything else you make a, a big sketch, like everything is a big to do. Everything else you tell us, every single thing. But when somebody said that, you know, they allegedly have your baby, crickets. I just, I don't understand. Like, I, I need, I want him to say something other than this. I want him to say other, something other than uploading pictures of. You know, Tim's he's painting on. I need to know. And then for this girl, ma'am, you were married and you had you had sex with somebody else and decided what is wrong with you? Then you had another man thinking that that was his damn baby and it's not. Like why would you wait nine months? Chris, nobody has time. And you used to be friends with Karuchi. Like I don't like you. And that's all I gotta say, because I don't have time for none of this. Until Chris Brown say I am or am not the daddy, then These I don't have time for you. No Chris name. Brown ain't boy. Yo, why are you trying to pick on Chris Brown today? Because I just, I love Chris Brown. I can say what I want to about him. Jeez, why are you so proud? I'm just letting you know. Okay, um, moving on. That's the end of Tanea time today. I guess. But um, real quick, just these want to say something about these three shows real quick and then move on because Ratchet TV is about to come on. Um, Empire, I did watch again this week. We watched together. Yes, it was actually did. a good episode. We did say it was a good episode. It was. <laughs> Basically, this whole episode was about Anika leaving and going and chilling with the man from Creed Records or Creed More Records. What is it called? Barretti. And, um, you know, she's basically trying to take all of Empire's people and take whoever that they thought they were trying to get. Because she knows all the ins and outs. So, basically, that's what they're trying to do. Make sure that they're keeping their people and trying to get new people. Because Jamal was trying to get Estelle to come and, you know, join yeah. the crew or whatever. But, um, hold on. I think like, they got it, though, with the end. Andre flushing his meds. The man is crazy. Okay. And went cuckoo. Did, did Lisha know that he was crazy? Lucius know that he's bipolar. Oh, okay. I really, really don't because I would feel like, you know, but you know what? No one Lucius' his ass might know and just, you know. He flushed the meds. He went, tonight, as Tanae said, he went 752 in the elevator. And, you know, then at the end, which he needs to get a war for, he went crazy. He went crazy. And you know what? I, I, that's what I wanted to say. It was a lot of people upset on Twitter the day after. And they were just like, that's not how a bipolar person acts. Da, 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 da. Y'all don't know how nobody acts because y'all think that y'all have bipolar. Y'all have nothing everybody's but a bipolar now. Y'all don't know what the real no bipolar, bipolar is. is. And everybody's condition is not the same. And all bipolar people don't act the same. So, exactly. So, I mean, what are y'all so mad for? The thing is, are you an effing doctor? You, we already <laughs> know this show is, is not real. So, watch the damn fiction and shut up. Uh, my favorite part of the show was when Cookie was drunk off the wing. Yo, Cookie. Take these cookies. Yeah, that's my name. Take a bite. Come on, get these cookies. I'm ready for the next episode because he about to get them cookies. Hold on. Speaking of the next episode, in the next The bodyguard is a minute. Yeah, Derek Luke's sexy self. He ain't all that. What? Go ahead. Girl, that is a scrumptious piece of chocolate. But at any rate, um, okay, speaking of the next show, you he, you hear Lucius saying, you're not going to tell me my son has a mental illness. Oh, yeah. it's, why can Lu only something be wrong with Lucius? Like, his ass has ALS. Everybody has to accept that. You can't accept having a, a gay, gay son. son. You can't accept having them, you know, a bipolar um, son, when Hakeem's whatever comes out, you're not gonna be able to accept that either, but everybody has to accept you and this damn ALS, sir. And, um, Jamal and, um, Estelle song. Cause I am a conqueror! No, shut up! She's evil. Look, 
And then they had that um, You're So Beautiful again at the end. Can I tell you something about You So Beautiful? I want to light it on F and fire. Like, I just, can somebody come under this, come under here and explain this song? Because the up, down, up, down, Girl, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It really, really blows my mind. Like, I really don't understand it. And, um, last but not least, I just wanted to say, I noticed that y'all keep trying to bring little shit in, like, here and there, everywhere. Don't bring up another elevator situation again. Right. And y'all know where the shade comes from. Look at the camera. Do y'all see some nail pulling a cup of Kool-Aid? This is the shit that I'm talking about. Well, I can't, I can't drink now? Damn! Like, she literally has the Kool-Aid picture the in this thing video. Is, are you telling me I can't drink? You can drink, but okay. when the cup's empty, that's it. I can't have a refill? No, bitch, what do you think this is? We went from not using a cup at all to you refill. Um, mind you, work. mind you, this is her third refill camera. I'm at work. I am talking. My throat is dry. All you do is I talk. I lubrication. Bitch. Sweet libation. All right, come on, let's You know what, up. you get on my damn nerves. Real Housewives of Atlanta last night was a key key because I'm just telling y'all now, Cynthia, like I said last week, I, the feelings haven't changed. Somebody needs to punch her, that bitch in her mouth. Like, straight like that. You know, between her trying to take Phaedra to the little lunch and not apologizing to her to still chit-chatting with Peter, talking about something, I wasn't trying to be shady. Then what are you saying I for? I just you know, because she called Kenya all type of whores. Why are you keep it, taking up for Kenya so hard? Like, what's oh, the because really good? Kenya's her friend. Right, because she going to tell Nene, just like you friends with, uh, what she say, Phaedra now. Did she say Phaedra? She didn't say it to, she did not say that to Nene. She was talking to somebody else. She was I'm like, friends. just because Nene's friend, she was like, um, just like, um, she's friends with Nene now, I'm friends with Kenya now. What does that mean? You sound dumb. Because um, you are a follower. Right. Bitch. So, the thing about my thing with Cynthia is just how she took Phaedra to dinner one on one. If she was so interested in the whole Phaedra and chocolate thing, why didn't she take them to dinner one on one together? Uh, like you know what I'm saying? Why I'm a, I'm a late. Whose right is it for you to lay all my business on the table? I'm gonna put it on the table. Put what on the table? Your business or mine? You have no right to put nothing to mine. Or nothing. Um, <clears throat> then we have the Candy and Phaedra issues, which I didn't know that these issues were that deep, but I see that they are because obviously Candy has some feelings about, you know, how Phaedra is going about things. And I noticed that Phaedra is the type that when she sends shit like this about to happen, she just cuts you off. Because she don't really got time for the nonsense. The thing about it is, and I've been... I've noticed that it seemed like Phaedra and Candy really haven't been like tough titty since um Apollo Simpson. Yeah. And Phaedra wasn't there. Yeah. Like, you know, like she just really had something to say about that. I feel and like because I feel like Candy is wrong. I'm sorry to to me I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like Candy is wrong because if my husband was to come home and tell me something about my friend, I'm going to call her. Girl, guess what Apollo then said? No, you didn't say anything. So when she got bombarded by questions that you already knew about, you stood there with your mouth shut looking stuck on stupid. You're wrong because had you had told her, she would have already been hit to what that was about to, you know, like trying to smack her with. Mm -hmm. you, that wasn't good. And then once they did lay it out on the table, you still didn't shut it down. Nene and, what's her name? Nene and Portia had to take Phaedra out. Like you're still not doing your friendly duties. And then you know that Cynthia and all them are talking about your friend and you still going out to like dinner with them? I'm sorry, no. Then we have the therapy session with Candy and Todd, which I already told y'all. If it ain't if, if it ain't clear now, it ain't never gonna be clear to y'all because Todd is cheating. And somebody said it last night. 
Todd seemed a little uninterested before they even got married. Like, I mean, I really feel like Candy being a moron, yes, I said it because it's no way that I'm letting my mother come in between my marriage when my husband isn't doing anything wrong. Like, right. this man has begged and pleaded with you to handle the situation. You're not handling it. And now it's to a point where he doesn't want to go to any family functions. Like, it's always going to be some type of distance. That's and made, it just irritates Todd. And he's, yeah, he's open. That's what made Todd uninterested. The fact that, you know, you have a mother that you can't put in. Not even that you can't check your mother. You won't check your yeah. mother. And when you try to, you just start crying. Right. And so, then, you know, he still has ill feelings about the prenup. So, you know. And I mean, I understand both of them like I understand she wasn't you know yeah. getting married without no prenup but she did I feel like she presented the prenup to him wrong like sign this or you know that's it um Peter Rica had another event last night and somebody said a name and that's true this man has more shit going on than a little bit. Every time I turn around, he got a club, an organization, and still broke his shit. And Cynthia, you worrying about somebody else's business. Worry about y'all, why y'all stay broke as shit. The thing is, you got so many, sh so much shit going on. As, as Phaedra said last night, so many delinquent bills. How are you even bringing her name up in a conversation? And then we have more Mama Joyce bullshit. You know, she on there talking about how she like her old house better than her new house. So if Candy I was, was like, Candy, if that was the case, I didn't even have to get her the new house. If uh, I was Candy, yeah. Mama Joyce's old ass would be living in a Section 8 old people apartment building because <laughs> she is ignorant I and she does night. not appreciate shit. Yo, I tweeted last night, I would have my mother in the projects and I'm sorry. Like, right down the road. Evelyn Lozada's mother still lives in the projects. I mean, I'm not comparing her and Candy Money, but... Evelyn could get her mother out the projects. Her mother just don't want to leave the projects. Her mother is comfortable so, where she right, is. Right, so what I'm saying is, is it's not completely wrong and it's nothing wrong with that. Like, your ass can be in the Atlanta project. I'll put her if ass you want to act like that. Right in the old people's home, a free Section 8 one, because you don't got no damn job, so you need something where you don't have to pay rent. So then, you know, last but not least, we see Nene trying to, you know, get the girls together other than Kendra and Phaedra because she mm -hmm. didn't want any quote-unquote drama. Kenya. Kenya and uh, Phaedra, but she's planning on having, you know, like a girls counseling session next week, and all I got to say about that is, God bless your heart, Nene, because I wouldn't be worrying about Yo, these hoes. after the meetup of trying to tell them in Cynthia, oh, Cynthia? that bitch would have got uninvited. Oh, Cynthia, you tried it at that table. Hey, you had it. Like, why all of a sudden you want to be so big and bad? They said she looked like Carlton. You're like, right. Who made her? You think fake you ass were? Pink Panther Tiger Woods ass. Anybody you always it? fake. You are so fake about it, about it. Like it's not even. Um. Oh yeah, that's what I also want to talk about. But we skipped over it. Do we have anything else to talk about? Go ahead. Oh, about um at the dinner with Phaedra and Cynthia when Phaedra got up and left because that was a big issue too. Well, that's what I said in the beginning. I said because. She, she, Phaedra came for an apology. Right. It's because a lot of people was like, why would Phaedra leave? She could have, she should have got her ass together. She didn't come there to get anybody together. She, she came, came there to receive an apology. And when she saw that she wasn't going to receive it, she got her stuff and left, which I felt like was the best thing for her to do rather than going back and forth with Cynthia. Like, if Phaedra got too much to lose to be out here acting crazy in these Atlanta streets, what? Um, Cynthia got except for her modeling thing. I'm excited about next week. They showed a clip of Nene's hair for next week, which is supposed to be the talk of the town. It's so, so funny. Nene. Somebody said that it has to be a wig from the Broadway show. No, she actually posted a picture of it, of, this, of one side of what it's supposed to look like and what it ended up like. And it's just like, that's what it was supposed to it literally looked like Nene hair first, like flexi rods or something. Mm -hmm. and and she, oh, she pulled it in a ponytail? I don't know. It looked like it's pulled in a ponytail. I have no idea. It I like it. Like Shut up. Okay. But um, I did have a couple more things to talk about, but I, I, this this video is too long. And the other two things I had to talk about is just going to make Tanea talk even more and even more crazy. What are they? Just say I'm going to say nothing else. Keisha Cole and her baby daddy drama on Twitter. And, you know, I haven't reviewed her show yet. And Mary Mary. Mm. Um, but let's get into the quote of the day. 
We can't change the world unless we change ourselves. Do you know who said that? Kate Washington. No. Biggie Smalls! Did you see Notorious Bitch? I tried to get all of Notorious out of my head because I watched it too. Much. Birthdays was the worst day. Now we sip champagne when we thirsty. Uh, Goddamn, I love the life I live. Alright, let's go. Cause I was waiting for her at the dough. But yeah, um, we're gonna go now. Um, but like I said, don't forget about the contest. I'm not repeating it. You gonna have to rewind. Right. I'm expecting to see these likes and I'm ready to mail off this gift. So y'all need to hurry up and win this prize or whatever. So we will be back on Thursday for an all new scandal review. And until then, y'all make sure y'all stay safe and be blessed. Again, happy birthday, Kim. Make sure y'all right. share this video. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. And as always, if you didn't know, take them out. If you didn't know, now you know that there is no show like the show. Also, as you're watching, don't forget to click the thumbs up like button. Let's get some likes going on in here. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Have a nice night.